of Finnis uh, Luna Mermaid Monofin. So if you like this video, please make sure to thumbs up it, um, write a comment, share all the lovely things, because um, it's really helpful and that would be nice. So you can buy these straight off the Finnis website, um, but at the moment they don't ship to Australia. I don't know about other countries, but they don't ship to Australia, which is annoying. Um, but I found I'm not sure if it's the official supplier, but I found a supplier on Amazon and was able to get this through them. One of the big design things that everyone's like, woo, is the separate foot pockets. Um, this is a lot better for people who have either wider feet or like their ankles knocked together a bit more because it just creates this bit of space between them, which is really helpful. Um, and you can actually adjust the sizing, so you can like, there's four separate um, sizes. I keep mine on the second, that was comfortable for me. But it means, you know, my friend has slightly bigger or smaller feet than me can use it as well, which is really good. The design of this is super, like, super pretty. Um, it's like, it's got all these, like, little scales and stuff, and, like, the ridges, and, like, even the back has some design on it, which is really nice. Um, so it's a very, it's a very stunning, um, monofin. Um, I got the, the bigger size, which I think, yeah, it says here on, it's a medium, so I don't think they have large as it currently, they have small and they have medium. Oh, this is the bigger one, um, which is the green one. So some people were really, really worried like about it because it's 100% silicon, how floppy it would be, and like, it's quite floppy, like look at this. It's very floppy, like I could probably smack myself in the face with this. Um, like you can bend it completely in half, like, it's really floppy. Um, but it's also quite a bit bigger than a lot of standard monofins um, for recreational use. And I think the floppiness with the size kind of counteracts the um, that what it would lack in propulsion if it was smaller. Um, so I found it's probably about the same propulsion as a, mono, a fin fun monofin, which, um, you know, it's not crazy fast or anything, but it gets you where you need to go. And like the extra floppy, the floppiness of this, I found is really like, makes you look really realistically mermaidy. And like you, if you had a skin on this, like it would flow really, really nicely. Um, so I can't wait to make a skin for this so that I can test that out. Monofin, which is this one. Um, this is their original one, not like their new fancy one that has the protective things. Although I don't think they differ in any um, size. But one you can see, like this is really quite rigid. Um, but in size, compared to the thinnest, um, you can see that the the lunar is quite a lot bigger, um, which gives it that extra surface area and give it a little bit of extra push. Um, but they're quite different shapes as well, so I know a lot of people were like, does the does this one fit into fin fun tail skins? I mean, no, that's like that's like being like, does the circle fit in a square? Like, no, of course it doesn't, because they're not the same shape. Uh I thought I'd, I'd just show you guys as well um, a comparison on the Luna to my Mythic Tail from Finvogue Productions, um, which is hanging magnificently on my wall and I'm not taking it down because it's heavy as hell, so I'm just gonna hold my Luna up to it and hopefully not drop my camera in the process. Um, well, I think I can actually sit it. So that's it sitting in my hooks as well. Um, they're actually quite similar in size. Um, the Mythic Tail obviously is a little bit wider and a little bit taller, but there's not a whole lot of difference. Like, the Luna, like, this is a pretty big uh, monofin. Um, so yeah, that was just for comparison's sake to see what they were like together, so. So, um, because it's silicon as well, it's really easy to clean. You know, you just rinse it in some fresh water um, after you go swimming, and it dries off like instantly. You can just pat it dry, um, which is great, because with the Fin Farm Fin and a couple of others, I know like the Magic Tails one, I think, is also fabric based. Um, they take forever to dry, like so long, and if like you're carrying it in a bag, it'll just soak through the bag. Like this, I just patted it down with my towel, and it was good to go. It was completely dry. It's really, really helpful. So the the fin itself is, it's not super thick. It's pretty thick, I suppose. I don't know. I'd say like at the thinnest point, like right on the edges, it's probably about two mil thick, and then like, I mean, like right up here, it gets like, I don't know, like an inch and a half or something. Um, but. It's, yeah, it's not like crazy thick, it doesn't feel like clunky or anything, it's quite a, a graceful feeling one. Um, it's so floppy though, I love it, it's awesome. I think that's about all I have to say um, on this fin. 
Um, I think it's definitely worth it, as, especially as like either a beginner's fin or just a recreational, um, you know, easy to use fin. Um, and it's super beautiful, like that's just, it's really gorgeous and I really love it and I'm glad that I got it. Um, so I def definitely recommend it if you're just starting out or you just want something easy. Um, but it's pretty cool and if anyone has any other questions feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will answer them as best as I can. Um, and I guess that's about it. So thank you everyone so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!